Coach, we'll start with you. A big win against an ACC opponent at home to continue this homestand, even it out at two and two. You have to be pleased with the, the bounce back ability of your squad after a couple of rough outings against JMU. Yeah, it, it, again, I've been talking about it after the last couple of games. Our practices have been more purposeful. Um, kids are thinking different. They're acting different. They're, they're walking with a little bit more confidence right now. And as I stated to the team after that game, we continue to get better from inning one to inning seven. And I really think that was the difference in, in that game. Offense was a little bit slow to get going, but that fifth inning proved to be the difference really for you. Kelsey gets on through uh, an error that probably shouldn't have happened and then leave it to Lacey Fox to blast one over the left field fence for a 2 nothing lead. What kind of momentum did that build in that fifth inning? Um, I think it was just Lacey about time to you know break out of a shell. She's, she had a 2-1 count, and all season long, Lacey's been determined in her discounts. And so 2-1, she put a great swing on the ball. It just happened to leave the park. Absolutely, Riley pitched a heck of a game. Um, defense played incredible behind her. And Megan did a good job early. I don't think that they really wanted to run on Megan much more. Um, she put you know, two good throws down to second base, happened to, get, happened to get a runner out on one of them. Um, so she did a good job behind the plate as well. You talk about Riley. She gets the complete game shut out for a sophomore who didn't play a lot last year, getting an assignment against an ACC opponent. She comes through for you when you need a win big. Yeah, um, I believe she was fresh today. Her arm felt good. She looked good in the, in the bullpen before the game. And, um, and and she's been throwing some good games lately. Just hasn't hasn't quite got the offense behind her. So um, we're real proud it all came through came, came together today. Riley, for you to get that complete game shut out and, and to beat North Carolina, you have to feel pretty good heading into a series against Elon this weekend. Um, yes, it feels really good, especially like in the past, and defense played really well behind me today, and then our offense got going, so we just all finally came together, like she said, from the season. Going through and getting the start today, probably a little bit of nerves maybe facing an ACC opponent, but what was working for you throughout the course of the game that, that allowed you to settle down and, and keep the Tar Heels off the board? Um, I think really talking to my defense, Coach Sugar has been – not really getting on me, but <laughs> trying to um, help me talk more to my team, and then they would talk back to me, and I wouldn't really get nervous until the seventh inning, but it was talking helped me a lot. Obviously, now you move back into conference play, a three-game series against Elon. For you personally, what kind of confidence does this build for you heading back into league play against uh, the Phoenix this weekend? Um, I think it builds my confidence a lot, especially knowing that I have the teammates behind me that I do and that everything's coming together when it now the time it needs to.